Kobolds, and welcome to another submission to the Frictional Games Monster Jam 2023, specifically. Now, what this is, is a Soma spinoff inspired by FNAF gameplay by Site Kappa, which is a collection of three junior designers. And I am very excited. This comes fresh of me recording on the heels of The Cold Descent, so go check out that video. And I hope to cover more throughout the week. So <laughs> hopefully I remember enough about the story. I don't know if you if you actually need any any knowledge of the actual Soma series. So we'll see if it kind of stands on its own. But either way, I'm no matter what, I'm excited to experience this. <laughs> Welcome to Kappa. <laughs> also, it's just great that it's site Kappa. From Julia Barberin to all Kappa employees. Let's see how long these are. I'm not sure if I should just like start by reading these off. I don't know. How much do you do y'all like my voice? <laughs> that I'm totally not losing today from attempting um, voice uh, voice related activities. That sounds even more sus than what I could have just said, but you know, that's fine, it's whatever. So this is an email welcoming us to Site Kappa. So this is since the impact, okay. Since the impact event, we hope that you can enjoy your stay here and keep working toward the future of mankind. Even though the place was expected to be open in a year and a half, we have been able to rush most of the important tasks so you can have a safe place to stay. This hurry also means that we had to prioritize not building some of the defenses against the wild filtrations that have been seen in other sites. You may find some black leaks here and there for a while. No big deal, don't worry about it. It's fine, it's fine. And we are not connected to the main Pathos 2 energy network, so we ask all of you to make the wi a wise use of the electricity in the station. If you have any questions or concerns, you can talk to me directly in my office. Kappa manager directly at Julia Barbarin. Fantastic. I finally completed the update on one of the bull UH3. So it is suitable for transport rations and deal with simple tasks and set the site suitable for it. I've also included the ability to control it from any standard monitor inside the station without needing a pilot seat. <gasps> well, there we go. The code of activation is 2103, so I think we did need to read this. The use of scanner and radar has also been implemented so that we have a lesser risk of the WoW's monsters destroying it. Despite that, use these tools smartly since they consume a chunk of the few energy we have left, and there's our energy usage management. From Catherine Chun, dual kappa, employees, subject to the last chance, we're finally leaving Theta to send the Ark into space. Hooray! But still I haven't received any signal from anyone in Kappa since the rescue attempt nor any brain scan security copy from there. If there is still someone alive at Kappa, send me the data through the main server port of your site so we can send you too. This really is the last chance. Best of luck, Catherine Chun. So I wonder if this is us trying to finally send ourselves out, perhaps? 2103. 2103. There we go. Boom. All right. I'm um, okay. So let's see what we got here. We got a map, scanner, and a radar. Toggle radar. So what does this do? Oh, so this uses some power. And that confirms that there's no enemies. I'm assuming that, that that's what that does for now. And we have to migrate our way up there. Oh, no, no, no. Run. <laughs> we already died. System error. Wow, attack detected. The mission had to be suspended. Oh no. The bull automatic safety return system was activated, re reached its activation point, was rebooted successfully. Restart to keep with the task. All right. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we do have to manage, I suppose. Let's see, let's do a radar scan. Okay, so we can't see it quite that far. No, if we use the scanner, how do we do? Okay, so scanner. Okay, so there and there. I'm assuming that that means that. The da nope, the danger is. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I didn't press restart. 2103. <laughs> oh no. Wait, hold on. I got this. I got this. There we go. I can press buttons. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm great at this. Okay, so I wonder if the enemies are in the same space always. And I think they can go through doors perhaps. Let's go up here and scan and see if we can see it from there. Can we see it? Oh, there we go. Oh no, does that mean it's coming? Oh no, they... <laughs> I'm great at these kinds of games, can't you tell? Okay, so my guess is they always spawn in the same spot. So let's go ahead and just go straight over here. Can we scan while we're moving? Okay, so we can scan while we're moving, it seems like. But we can't select new points, or we can't select new points. Okay, that seems like it's okay. Okay, it is. All right, let's use our radar. Okay, it's over there, so it's gonna be coming in Surprise, through this door. No, 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 I knew it! Run! <laughs> no! 
Okay, slowly we are making progress. We got this, y'all. All right, I need like some Mission Impossible music. <laughs> As we try to, try to... Okay, so does the... Okay, so that's where it exists right now. So big rooms are super dangerous because that means that we're taking a risk by always... By essentially not being able to, to to radar the distance that we need. Okay, I think we're okay. So if we continue in this room, it might come behind from behind us. I don't know if you can see my, my mouse cursor. I hope you can. Wait, wait. Oh, we can lock the doors. Oh, that's actually amazing. Okay, I didn't realize that those were clickable. I'm a derp. Or maybe I just immediately forgot. That's fine. All right, wait, radar? Radar red? Oh, oh no, we're draining power from the door. Are we? Oh, I left it on. Okay, that's my bad. I think we're safe, right? Are we safe? There? Is that good? Um, is this a good thing? <laughs> Am I a derp? Or do we have to scan all of the things? No! <laughs> Okay, so I will admit I am slightly confused. It doesn't look like that's a very safe way to go. I don't think we're supposed to map everything, so I'm actually a little bit, a little bit unsure. Okay. Oh, that's bad. So we gotta figure out which way that thing is going, which way the wow is going, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely going that way. We're gonna lock it just for the moment. Okay. Okay, I think we can go directly up and we should be fine. Oh, there we go. We had to upload. Okay, so we have to reach each of the different... Okay, so we're fine. We don't need to lock that bottom door yet. So did I accidentally leave that on then? Oh no. Can I not deactivate it if we have it up still? Uh-oh. Oh, whoops. That's my bad. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we can't deactivate a door lock. Oh! <gasps> I wonder if it would actually be better to... Okay, no, we're gonna activate the scanner entirely. Okay. Up there? Okay. We're gonna lock that one, and we're gonna lock... Okay, so we can't... Yeah, we can't lock... Oh, the problem is we can't lock or unlock anything that we are not in the room of, and that's kind of a problem, I think. Okay, sorry, I'm like trying to survive while also doing this. <laughs> So we kind of screwed up in that I... Okay. So in all that learning I've done, which was good, <laughs> we ran out of power. Okay, okay. This is pretty novel, though. I like I like the concept. This is good conceptually. I think this would be super duper interesting if there was more involvement in the 3D space, like around the edges. Like, this is really cool. So, like, uh, not necessarily a criticism, but, like, something I... I think this could be expanded on is what I'm trying to get at. Now, I'm wondering if each of those terminals are... Uh-oh. I'm wondering if each of those terminals are randomly spread out throughout this station here. Oh, shoot! <laughs> throughout the site? Or or what? <laughs> Heck. Okay. Let's use, start off with the scanner right away. Okay, so we have a decent amount of space to work with. I'm going to check up here and see if there's one in this area. Okay, so no. Ah, uh, okay, so now that we... Okay, so once you, like, explore a room, essentially, you kind of get a good sense for... It basically tells you, like, the objects that are present in that space, essentially. So we need to just kind of explore everything and then hopefully be able to... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going to lock that, run, unlock it. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't take it... Oh, no, I didn't... Um. I didn't take a mental note of where the second one was. Where the second... Wow, boy. Oh, God. That's, that's bad. Okay, we're gonna... Budge. Okay, we're gonna unlock and run. <laughs> okay. We need to go to the top right, though. That's gonna be a little bit dangerous. We're gonna scan again. Okay, good. I think we've got enough. We've got enough space and we've got enough time. So, we're good. Make our way to the right. There we go. There's terminal. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're gonna scan again. Okay, where are they? They're moving. They're moving and schmoving. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I keep clicking on the doors in order to click on the the actual um, in order to click on the space to move because I'm like trying to prepare for like moving by a door. <gasps> this might be a good run. We might have a good run. This might be good. This might be good. 
Okay, we've really got to find the rest of those terminals, though. I feel like the radar isn't super great. Because, like, or compared to the scanner, specifically. I don't know. That's just my kind of sense so far. I feel like I can... <gasps> no! No! <laughs> I say that and then immediately get destroyed. <laughs> no. Okay, this is actually a lot harder than I was thinking it would be. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> This is really cool though. I love it. I love this. I love stuff like this so much. Let's see if we can always get this door locked off. Maybe we can get a good like start. Uh oh, I might've messed that up. Okay. There is one thing I'm wondering though. And it's if they have like a kind of an, oh, excuse me. You want to go in the, oh, I'm, I'm a derp. Wow. I locked off the door and I was wondering why they couldn't go. Go bull, go. You got this. You got this little buddy. Okay. Let's do a little scan, scanny scan. Okay. That's very dangerous. Oh, we got one. There we go. Okay. I think I, I want to say they're always in the same place, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we're, we seem to be... Okay, we can make our way left. And I think... Oh, no. Okay, we gotta... Okay. Oh, shoot. No, I locked it, but the problem is, is that... Ooh. <laughs> this is really scary. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, little bull buddy, go. You got this. I believe in you. Let's go up here and then do a scan. It's nice that that's kind of a safe room that you can engage in. Okay, we're gonna lock that. Launch our radar. Wait, I thought I locked No, I locked the wrong door. <laughs> oh, those things are fast. They're sneaky little buggers. They're cheeky, sneaky cheeky. Yeah, I think it always spawns in that door so I can always just lock that one off immediately and I think we'll be okay. Okay, so it is always in the same place, which means I've actually got to start paying attention. <laughs> no, it's in that room. Okay, this is bad. I'm wondering if going to the right is actually a better... a better use of our time. Come on, go, little buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Let's scan. Okay, good. That's not too bad. Well, they're both in there. Okay, it's right there. Okay, so we can do that, and then we can go straight to the top right, I think, and just make our way this way. I'm gonna lock that just in case. I don't know if they're there. We're gonna make our way straight to the right and scan. That way we have a good good amount of distance. Okay. And I don't remember if the scan shows the presence of our objectives. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, perfect. Scan, scan, where are they, where are they? Oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, is that, did I, I really hope that worked. I really hope that worked. No, 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 no. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Um, okay, now question, can we wait them out? Can we wait them out? Can we wait them out? Where are they? Wait, that's good, that's good, that's good. Go, 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 go. Yes, we did it. Oh my God, yes. I'm so happy. We did it, Bull, we did it. We'll enter safe mode until it's completely recharged. Aww. Hell yeah. And did we get a new mail? Oh, we did. <laughs> okay, from the Pathos 2 messaging system. Data upload diagnosis. Hello, Kappa terminal number 0451. Your message has been successfully uploaded to the main Pathos server. However, we ha are terribly sorry to inform that Dr. Catherine Trin has been deceased for five hours and 32 minutes. What? No. Is that where the sad music is coming from? If you'd like to delete your message or resend it to another person, please contact the IT department of your site. No! <laughs> oh, That's so sad. Okay, well, a bit of a melancholic ending there. So to try to give a little bit of context without giving spoilers, because even though I think technically this is a spoiler for Soma, Catherine Chun accompanies you during gameplay for Soma. And so this, I believe, is meant to be a sort of precursor to events in the Soma game. And I do kind of wish that they had given a little bit more context for people who either <laughs> have a shoddy memory for these kinds of things, like um, not, you know, not naming any names me. But um, otherwise, I really enjoyed this. Okay, wait, hold on. Excuse me? All I did was click back. Why? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I didn't think there was more. Hello? Initializing Pathos Emergency Reboot System. Rebooting. 
Oh. Well, this is unexpected. I thought that was the end of the game. Oh, it's... <laughs> It's using my PC name. <laughs> oh, that's super interesting. I'm not a hundred percent... I'm not, like, a hundred percent super on games that don't warn you before they're going to use your computer, um, file. Even, like, a mock-up of it, your computer file structure. But regardless, it's still cool. <laughs> Oh, okay, just straight up ends. So anyway, Kobolds, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed this mix of uh, FNAF-inspired gameplay and Soma. There's also some fun mods I want to get to eventually, um, such as a Munchy dating simulator game. And I do plan on getting to most, if not all, of the rest of the submissions to the fan Monster Jam 2023. So I'm super excited for all of that. Again, thank you so much, very much for watching. Thank you to the developers for making this and putting it out there on itch. And the gameplay doesn't necessarily require that you understand or know Soma. So if you want to give it a shot for yourself and see how fast you can beat it, I say go right ahead. I do think that this is a concept overall could be expanded on. I do think the 3D space around you could use, especially if you have, oops, especially since there's kind of a condensed, you have an interface here, and then you have some neat art around the border there. Um, but yeah, I will, uh, I will see you all later. So thank you very much for sticking with me. Bye everyone.